So now that we've set up the Chromebook in kiosk mode and opened it up so that it launches directly to the secure browser, um, let's say that we want to take it out of kiosk mode and have it back to how it's supposed to be. Um, we're going to make sure that we go back to the original starting place of our admin console. Again, click Device Management, Chrome Management, and the best place to start is probably at the device settings. Again, I need to make sure that I'm working in the correct organizational unit, and that is Trainer Chromebook. I'm going to scroll down to um, kiosk mode. And I want to remove this option to allow public uh, sessions. So I'm taking that off. I'm going to remove the auto launch kiosk app. Um, and so that's no longer going to auto launch. Um, I could go ahead and remove this if I wanted to. I don't have to. Um, but simply to make things clean for me for the next time I come back, I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to click on Save. And at this point, the Chromebook should be back to its, um, you know, its mode that we're familiar with. The kids would have to sign into their Chromebooks like usual. Um, just again, because I want things to be really clean and have a fresh, clean slate each time, I'm going to go back to my Chrome settings and go back to my public session settings. And I'm going to also remove um, the secure browser app from this point as well. Um, and so again, I'm going to go to Manage Force Installed Apps, and I'm going to remove that here. Click Save. And Save again. And one thing that we've learned is that once we have put in a session display name, is there's, um, there's no way to erase it. Um, it won't always appear. It doesn't, I mean, it's a little bit weird, but just for purposes of showing myself when I come back to watch this, if I were to remove the name and hit Save, um, it doesn't let me. And so I have to always give it some kind of um, session display name. It won't always appear. It's only going to be there when, they're, when it's set up for a public session. Um, so that's it. That's how you take it out of kiosk mode, put it back to normal for users to sign in.